and our identity was in our jobs and in our home, in our cars, in our social status. We believed that we believed that our image, uh, we believed that everything about us was driven by ourselves. We believed. Mm-hmm. Um, if we it were w- providing. Yeah, we believed that if it was going to be, it mm-hmm. was going to be up to us. We yeah. believed that success and money and happiness and power and all those things that we're supposed to have were going to be driven to us by us and through us. And during that walk, it just seemed that we managed to fit fit our faith, our God, into the picture. <laughs> when it was convenient. Yeah, when it was convenient. I remember praying, beginning to pray differently in the morning. I was, I was praying to God, uh, provide us with uh, favor and promotion to get us into a different place in our lives. And it, it, just, <laughs> it just so happened that favor and promotion uh, in His kingdom is different than what we might consider to be mm-hmm. favor and promotion. And uh, what do you know? Uh, was given a pink, pink slip and some traveling money, and we were both out of work before we knew it. Right. And uh, right. the houses, the money, the cars... Uh, the image, the status quo, and the our identity and what what we what we thought we were um, no longer existed. So the question was, who are we? 